What's up, Park City? It's me, Brendan O'Leary with PCD Reports once again. Today I've brought you a little west of I-15 to a hidden little spot where a beehive is located. Today, we're gonna learn a little bit about the life of a beekeeper. The first step is to go in there and make sure you have honey to harvest and, and where it is. And I don't generally use a smoker. I, I think they're a good idea, but but I just have a hard time keeping one lit. So so I, I, I wear a veil if I have to. I don't wear a suit because I'm more careful without one. I get to learn their behavior better um, just because I'm more vulnerable. And they're vulnerable too. And um, I just think it's more fair. <laughs> I think that's important. It slows me down and um, it makes me uh, have a little more respect for them. Uh, it's kind of windy today and the, and the bees don't like that. So, um, you know, it, we'll see how their temperament is. The idea is to get the bees off the frames, you know, so you, can, so you can pull them out of the hive and harvest them. And there's different ways to do that. Today, we'll just pull frame by frame and, and just shake the bees off. Um, they don't like that. <laughs> but it's the most efficient way to do it in this case. When you open the hive like that, um, the bees have, a, have a, a reaction, an instinct to, to gorge on honey. So they all, they all go and stick, their, well, most of them go and, and stick their head in a, in a cell um, and start filling up with honey with the idea that they're gonna have to evacuate the hive. Um, you know, load up with as much honey as you can. So. The funny thing is they won't, they won't take honey that's capped, so they're only going to take honey from where, where it's uh, accessible and already broken open. Somehow they, they understand that that's their winter stores and they have a, you know, a certain discipline about them that they, they know it's off limits. I've opened a hive and, and drizzled honey on there and, and watched bees eat like, like they've never eaten before. Yet they're sitting on 50 pounds of honey that they, that they just won't touch. So it's fascinating, I think. It's, they're highly disciplined in this regard. The bees evolved in a in a tree, so they're 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 used to a, a vertically elongated nest. So that's what we reproduce with the with the Langstroth hive. And at the bottom of the nest is uh, where all the brood rearing takes place, all the reproduction, um, all the raising of young bees. And then above the brood nest is where where they prefer to store um, all the honey. And then come winter time. They'll start. They'll start the winter uh, at the bottom of that that nest, you know, just just below the the honey. And as as winter progresses, they'll they'll consume the honey and and, and move up into that to that newly made space. And um, by the end of the by the end of winter, they're they're at the top of the hive. So the whole idea with these with the the invention of these hives was that that you could um, move the combs um, independently and, and kind of rearrange the nest so so all the combs are encased in a in a wooden frame a rectangular frame and they can be removed and and rearranged in the hive um, really to manipulate the, the colony into into producing honey so or or to to inspect for for disease would be the other reason but yeah they're they're all there's in these hives there's eight frames in each box so we'll pull the frame out it yeah it'll be it'll be covered in bees and then we'll we'll set it aside and um you know, stick it in another box so we can carry it over to the shop and, and, and extract it. First thing you gotta do is um, uncap it. It's the uncapping process. All, all of these cells, well, the majority of these cells will, will, be, will be covered, will, will have a wax capping um, over it. And, and that's to lock in the moisture content. So we'll slice that off and then, and then it just goes into a, what's called a, a centrifuge. To, it'll spin it and um, fling it out of there and we collect it. It'll go out the bottom through a, through a strainer and then, and then into a bucket and then jar it from there. The flavor between, between a processed honey and a, and a raw honey is, is not even comparable. Uh, it doesn't even taste like the same, the same product. So, you know, there's that. Um, there's also factors such as enzyme activity you know, which, which gets destroyed when, when you heat it. Um, so, so raw honey is, is actually healthier. They could be, have been eating honey for 30 years, but they've never tasted honey if they haven't tasted raw honey. So um, just that difference alone 
ought to be enough to for anyone to want to try it and and it is that different it's 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 just not comparable so um and then you know also the bioactivity of, of a raw honey you, you you get you get active enzymes um i mean that's 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 important but really it's the flavor <laughs> As always, we hope you enjoyed. This is Brendan from PCTV Reports. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.